Namaste! Grand Rising, Big Cat. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. Royal message or messages. Come in! Come on! I've got intel. Recon is afoot. The planetary energies are as you kick your way into this glorious day. You have a new moon in Taurus, the second house star in India, the second house of values and priorities. We also have Mercury retrograde, direct. Well, it was Mercury retrograde. Mercury is now direct in Taurus, as I said, the second house of values star in India. Mm -hmm. It's about your resources and your essential needs, your assets, your financial security, your material possessions, what you prioritize in life, as well as your self-worth, utilizing your skills and your talents. As I was saying, the new moon in Taurus is going to what? Have your career ambitions at an all-time high. Plant the seeds for business and or romance goals and watch them grow throughout this lunar cycle. Nurture them well, big cat. Nurture them well. Be focused, man. Mm -hmm. Let's get your runestone and kick it off at a hot trot. Because, my darling dear, they never truly supported you. They can't break what they didn't make. Father God made you. One, four, four on the counter. The chosen assembled. Big Cat, can we have a quick chat? Big Cat, you realized who you surround your, surrounded yourself with, right, is very important. Law number five of the 48 laws of power. Reputation is everything. And with four bottom feeders, guess who's going to be number five? That's why you understood law number 10. Avoid the unlucky and the unhappy. Then you trotted right up <laughs> to law number eight. Yes, baby. Allow the true, true to come to you, you. Law number nine. You're winning through your actions and never through your words. You haven't got the throat chakra to tongue wrestle with the feeble-minded simpletons. Mm -hmm. Law number 33. You know your opponent. You understand them, darling dear. How else are you going to vanquish them? Mm -hmm. And finally, law number 48. You are always adaptable and on the move into the unknown. Mm -hmm. Your spiritual kung fu is kicking like Jackie Chan. Yeah. Your cutoff game is strong. You deleted they, them, and arm. Down to the memories. Dot. You don't even remember who they are. You're getting Mar your Mariah Carey on. You don't know that person or those people. Mm -hmm. You understood. If someone someone makes you question your worth, darling, dear, you must minus yourself from that hemisphere. I told you. You're doing law number 29, planning all the way to the end. The Wendy Williams. No Klingons allowed on your Star Trek. to get one let it be daggers darling dear this is the judgment card in tarot in the upright i might add represented by the letter d the numbers 80 81 82 and 83 breakthrough season has arrived for you why you had the awareness and the awakening as well as what planning darling dear the judgment card also speaks about someone would like what a second chance with you one more round julie with your hairline and your health, darling dear, listen, your edges, your hairline must come first. Mm -hmm. The judgment card is rep or rune is represented by fire, water and Pluto energy. Pluto speaks about the liberation of awakening, darling dear. You are innovative at this moment in time, creating true, true arm, true life changes, darling dears. You are a new stage in your life. And many would like to rep return, darling. And he said, repent. Listen, repent? How can the wicked repent when they don't see what they've done as wrong? 
They never truly loved or supported you. Never you forget that, darling dears. Mm -hmm. For others, you'll be seeing, receiving some kind of um, a promotion, possibly in your job, um, your business, or even your spiritual contract, darling dear. Enlightenment is being delivered unto thee as you get the second chance. For those that are taking a final examination today, it's going to be your day, darling dear. You will fly. You will pass with flying colors. This fresh start, darling dear, is creating a lot of power struggles amongst the feeble-minded in their mud huts. Oh, pardon me, darling dear. That was a spiritual belch because I speak the truth roof. Pinky's up. Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't hate it. As I was saying, the Pluto energy of it all, Pluto is the 10th planet, so it speaks about the ending of a cycle, um, completion in order for the renewal to come through for you. Someone is obsessed, or someone, as I said, there's a power struggle in the background, they're obsessed with your gangster. Mm -hmm. Pluto is currently in Aquarius, but it's going to dip back into Capricorn, I think it's going to be on the 11th of June. And it will be back in Aquarius until 2024 from January 2024, darling dears. Big things are going on for you as you regenerate, darling dear. From death to rebirth. Love it. Mm -hmm. You could have been involved with this person or people for the past 14 or 30 years. Or sometime in between, darling dear. But you've cut the umbilical cord of the soul tie. From this beta, the B is for a what? A back front neck tabber. They get no S. The A is because they're an abuser. The I is because they're an imposter. A high commander decepticon. A T is because all they do is take, take and take some more. And E is because they exploited you, darling dear. R is because they was reckless when they effed you over. Without the Vaseline, darling dear, they should have bent down even further and did it to themselves. The S is because they're a shapeshifter and mean. They are soulless. And you're ensuring that they are goalless as far as you are concerned. There is no back to you. No boomerang season for them, darling dear. They, them and I'm. Mm-hmm. Oops, let's get your domino. These good looking alfalfas, how dare they? They dare, darling dear. They've got more front than Brighton Pier. Oh, you have a three, darling dears. The numerology of a three. Lean in, big cat. It speaks about groups as well as your authenticity, how, how you express yourself in groups, darling dears. You've always been your authentic self, which is why they never truly loved or supported you because you were built to be different, right? The three is ruled by Pisces as well as um, Sagittarius energy, darling dears. Mm -hmm. So that is what um, Jupiter and Neptune energy, darling dears. This is about you being recognized for your artistic abilities. Your communication and your creativities are about to be highlighted, darling dear, even further. Three is also the number of social, darling dear, possibly on social media, in new groups. Your name is being mentioned in high places, darling dears. It also speaks about what an upgrade being gifted to you at this at this moment in time, darling dear. You are exactly where you, you want to be, needs to be, in order to what? achieve this abundance and blessings that's coming towards you in their face suckers yeah the energy of the two is the high priestess moon energy cancer and pisces energy this is about you having gone within all answers come from within you are highly intuitive listen to your intuition and your discernment as you go forward why because you have the energy of the one this is the magician darling the other bad ass alchemist ways as above, so below. You have you are the professor of the of the gift of the gap, darling dear. You have your communications are on one thousand. Your speaking, your listening, as well as your writing communications. It also speaks about something coming through with a quickness. Mm -hmm. The Mercury energy, darling dear, rules the number three. Mm -hmm. It will it rules the number three and the number six. Right, so that's Gemini and Virgo energy. Gemini energy speaks about your communications. The Virgo energy speaks about your analytical skills, darling dears. Yes, baby. I love it. I don't hate it. It speaks about you overcoming some kind of a sickness, darling dear, through 
um, some routine, some routine that you've got with your body maintenance. It's mm, mm. they expected you to be in debt or in duty to them, darling dear. For others, this is about you releasing yourself from some kind of employer. This is you striking out on your own, using all of your tools, darling dears. You have the energy of the magician with the badass alchemist ways. Mm -hmm. The one and the two speaks about an old friend wanting to come and visit you, darling dears. Bebe, judgment. It also speaks about karma is riding them, ride, riding on their back. Like white on rice, darling dear. They're coming with the bad luck, the bad vibes, the bad intention, the bad credit. And if it was an ex-partner, it's the Panani of Atum that's got a bad memory, darling dears. Mm-hmm. Love it. I don't hate it. Let's get your Oracle Ancestral message. I'm going to use the African Goddess Rising. Give it a good shift. Oh, just a small split. To wake up the deck. Grief, darling dear, someone's crying into their fist. Good golly and gosh, to be avoided at all costs. Somebody's proper sad mate. Mm -hmm. Possibly they realize they what? They they gambled, right? And lost a diamond and picked up pennies, right? Fake pennies to at to boot. Mm -hmm. We have the two and nine. This is goes to an eleven which is a master number, darling dears. It speaks about what? Divine inspiration and synchronicities that are being gifted to you. Divine is encouraging you to keep going. To, don't look back, darling dear. Remember, Lot's wife, Salt Bay, that's not for you. It's for them to look back on their, 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 their attitude towards you, how they treated you, the lack of support. They're looking at all of these things and they're crying. Why? Because you're winning, big cat. If you was at, at death's door or in the poor house, darling dear, or outside the train station selling mats, matchsticks for Pentacales, do you think they'd care about you? They'd be laughing, mate, into their fist, but instead they are crying. Full on sad, mate, but they've got regret, which is not remorse. The difference between Judas and Peter. Mm -hmm. Crying into their fist, they better cry to themselves. Let that bad juju stay with them. We don't want it. Base of the deck, darling dear. Yes, be a divine lineage. You are royalty, darling dears. You are royalty personified, your majesty. Mm -hmm. This is you coming from a long line of royalty, darling dears. Yes, you did. Some of you are from a long line of what? Sages and shaman, as well as Hioka High Priest or Priestesses, darling dears. You've got the spiritual gift of the gap, darling dear. Your spiritual blessings, your words carry spiritual weight. Yes, baby, a regal lineage. I heard Viking, Egyptian. I'm here in African, darling dear. Aztec, Mayan. You have all of the spiritual gifts being bestowed on you. Why? You understood your assignment and broke free from paradigms and people that don't serve you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The ones that wanted to create havoc in your life. The H is for a harlot, a.k.a. a Jezebel spirit. The A is for an advocate of the gingivite. It's a full-on lying liar. Mm -hmm. The V is because they're a victim. They love to what? Blame you for what they done to you, darling dear. They're upset. Good golly and gosh. The O is because they're obnoxious, right? And the C is because they're a copycat. They will get their echo praxic on. First they laughed and gossiped, right? Then they took note. And now they're trying to be a watered-down version of you. Of your royal status? I think not, Scotty. I think not. Had to put my back into it. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? These stands are fighting me. But I am dexterous. I am big cat. As are you, bestie. Fist bum. They cried into their fist, darling dear. They gambled a diamond and pick up, picked up fake pennies. Base of the deck. And that's the truth roof. Pinkies up. Mm -hmm. You are the truth, darling dear. You are. And bad mind is kicking in them like Van Damme. Just saw 444 four, four on the counter, darling dears. 
Continue forwards, never backwards. You are being supported, darling dears. Keep going. Keep going. Hold on, let me open the window. It's getting very hot in here. I'm not going to turn on the fan because the fan blows over all of the cards. There. Right. Let's press on. Let's get a deck. I'm going to use the Art Nouveau. Oh, success, darling dear. This is about you being an armor master crafts person. If you're going for an examination today, darling dears, it's about to go in your in your favor. Your formal training, darling dear. You've done the hard work, the due diligence, studying late into the night like an elf. The Eight of Pentacles also speaks about building a new stable foundation, one that which is financially secure. Mm, mm. I love it. I don't hate it. It also speaks about um you being a bit of perfectionist darling dear once you what acquired these new skills this is dedication your hard work darling dear and it's a reminder for some to what get to writing your will darling dears make sure that what you bestow what be, want to bestow on others goes to the others and it also speaks about you having been written to some kind of a will as well mm. let's give it a good shifty and carry on see what messages come up you are graduating cum laude, darling dear, with honours. Leave them where they are, darling dears, on the rocks of life where they wanted you to be. What's this? As I said, it devil energy. Somebody's obsessed with you, Capricorn, which is Saturn energy. They're under the rules and regulations. This is someone who is living a hedonistic life, darling dear. They've got all sorts of addictions, drugs, alcohol, um, physical pleasures of the SEX, darling dear. Some of them are bound in a toxic, toxic, narcissistic paradigm, a relationship that's straight from the crevice of the devil's balls, darling dears. Oh no. Oh yes, darling dear. People give, they get what they give. They get what they give. Somebody who's extremely manipulative, maybe have, may, may have been of, as much as gone as far as to physically abuse you, darling dears. This person was easily tempted from your side by any Jezebel spirit. Base of the deck. We've got the Emperor Energy. This was somebody who should have been a protector or provider to Major Arcana. But it also speaks about you dominating a situation, darling dear. Possibly even yourself. Mm -hmm. The Emperor Energy is about you being forward thinking. It also speaks about a future partner that's coming towards you. It could be in the form of a new employer. We already discussed the sixth house, the Virgo, which covers employers, darling dears. Or you are stepping into an Emperor mode or, or stepping up as an employer taking on new staff after a really unhappy time in your life the 10th cup someone who was meant to be an emperor or empress in your life darling dear they never supported you they never emotionally supported you darling dears this is somebody who if you've got progeny they made the whole household unhappy with their behaviors their words this is someone who is a cheater and a beater and a, and a skin peeling liar wow transformation season they can't come back to you you're on your high horse transformation the death card mm -hmm. it's the eighth house the eighth house of um shared resources darling dears the eighth house is the marriage house you may have been married to this person but it's the eight, this is also about letting go of that situation strength card look at all of this major arcana coming out Four out of five, darling dear. It means you can't be tempted off your your flip-flop. This is about being spiritually strong. This person came to you with a lot of negative attachments, darling dears. Look at these eyes of this emperor. It looks very mean. Very mean. Current energy. You're being watched, darling dear, by a past person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody who came to you not telling the truth, darling dear. They came with a whole bushel of secrets, darling dear. Major Arcana on Major Arcana. What's this? Yeah. They knew exactly what they was doing, darling dears. When they spoke out their neck, they spoke to you in unkind ways. They wanted you to be stressed out and depressed and losing your hairline. Mm -hmm. They knew exactly what they was doing, darling dear. Don't believe them. Don't believe the hype. Right? Yeah. Good golly and gosh. 
this is someone that refuses to change they're still living according to as though the world owes them a favor right they're trying to avoid disaster mm -hmm. and also as well as what prison somebody has a prison sentence on them darling dear possibly for what physical abuse mental abuse or abuse of what their position in the job environment it could be the misappropriation of their company funds darling dears haven't seen one pentacale yeah i told you they knew exactly what they was doing seven of cups on its face they never supported you they never loved you but they had to realize from a distance way way over there right that they can't break what the most high made they can't break you because they didn't make you the emperor could also represent the father god card down in there mm -hmm. god is telling you to keep it as a tk oh this person is extremely disappointed and disillusioned because you won't take the cup you prefer to be solo dolo like the boys or girls on the pole right this is about celebration you're going to hear about a wedding or some you'll be celebrating darling dear and it may even be a celebration for one just you right i myself and me the tree of honor is going to be celebrating some kind of achievement that you're about to make possibly because you're highly intuitive you may even have an online spiritual business darling dear yeah yeah it's like everything your luck changed when you washed your face like david this was a lot of passive aggressive there was a lot of gossip and talk king of wands in the reverse darling dears this is a deep dealer, but it's all current energy or a mattress back, a Jezebel spirit. This is someone who liked the attention of others. Use SEX to get what they wanted. They can't get you again. No, mate. They've got the bad luck, the bad karma. They're broke. There's something wrong with their health as well, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Destabilized foundation. There's a lot of arguments and fights around them, darling dears. A lot of arguments and fights over money. Told you. Brock pocketers, buddy. Have you got a dime? Then I've got you it, blood. In the name of the Most High, God has entered the building. Listen, who God bless, no man can curse. And Divine is telling you that it's your coming out season, Hermit, in the reverse. This is about the spiritual transformation that you've gone through, darling dears. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. I don't hate it, darling dear. Yes, baby, the eighth house, your spiritual transformation, right? Death to the old you. It also speaks about other people's money. People are other people are about to invest in whatever you've got going on, darling dears. Look, the judgment card is coming into play. Your fresh start, this new beginning, your steps are being divinely ordered at this moment in time. And it's your coming out season. Remember, law number 18, full on isolation is dangerous. And you've emotionally healed from that situation. What did I say? Your coming out party. This is a change in your health, darling dear. Your mental health, your finances. Everything is on the up and up. All because of 5-5, five, five, you chose to let go of a situation right and never forget change is constant darling dears divinely orchestrated change mm -hmm. base of the deck they're being stopped darling dear every time they try to contact you right it's a lack of progress mm -hmm. as you do your winner's lap clarify the strength card yeah you're strong you're not going back to situations that broke you contracts that are no longer you no longer trust in these contracts if it was a contract of a relationship a friendship even a job darling dear you are leaving certain circumstances and moving to a better paradigm for you where you'll be recognized for the skills you bring to the table this is unity teamwork it's also about being watched darling dear you're being watched by many on the internet darling dears some from the past has got the nostalgia somebody trying to manifest you back through looking at your pictures darling dears but they're looking at the opportunities you created world card you've ended that situation and cycle with people that never supported you darling dear it affected your mental health your money your stability when you was around them darling dear they came with the bad luck and they had you on a knife's edge. It also speaks about someone having some kind of operational surgery. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. You've got a new perspective, darling dear. One where you don't have to fight. Fight other people, right? Or take anyone else down to get what you truly deserve. You know your worth, darling dear, and what you bring to the table. Lots of messages there. Let's give it another shifty. 
I just heard the number two. We're gonna give it. Oh, the cards don't even want to go together. This is someone or someone that you don't you don't speak to them anymore, darling dears. Mm -hmm. You don't speak to this person. They was a bird that flew too fast past their nest, darling dear. Let's give it another shufti. What did I say? You feel from that emotional situation, darling dear. Moved on. Mm -hmm. it took a time, darling dear. You went through the grief, the grief of the DNS. And now you're being what? Spiritually best, blessed as well as financially blessed, darling dear. This is what? The breaking of a generational curse. Yeah. You are a happiness expert, darling dear. Major Arcana. It also speaks about travel. Maybe even the birth of a child. Somebody was worrying about the birth of a child. Maybe the father is a narcissist. Yeah. They don't, they're not going to look back on that child, darling dear. Knight of Swords on his face. They're like shuffling the deck again. But you will be blessed with the Pentacles to take care of your progeny. Member told you that. Member told you that. Divine will make a way for you, King of Pentacles. What did I say? Leave the bottom feeders where they are, in the crevice of the devil's balls. This person is nothing but an opportunist, right? Fickle energy who's lying, right? And upset. They've broken the foundation with you, darling dear. And it's affecting their health. It's affecting their stability. Every time they bring up your name with wickedness attached to it, darling dear. Their life keeps getting more and more affected. Clarified the Ten of Pentacles. Clarified by the Ten of Cups. Like I said, the breaking of a generational curse. Your Tenth Cup. Why? I love it. I don't hate it, darling dears. This is harmony and alignment that's being gifted to you and your family, darling dears. For others, starting that family. You starting that family, like I said, that person is not going to look back on the child, but you'll be gifted with all of the tools you need to raise that progeny to be someone or someones to be proud of. Yeah, you're gonna go through that formal training, darling dear, like a boss. Mm -hmm. The tenth cup also speaks about true friendship coming towards you, loyalty being gifted unto you because you broke these generational curses. You're going to be building a new community, darling dears. One that's going to be based on what? True soul tribe. Some of you may even be building a community online. Pentacles represent lines, right? Somebody did something in the dark, something disingenuous. Six of ones on its face. Good golly and the gosh. Mm -hmm. This person is filled with self-doubt, extremely ignorant. They had a major, major fall from grace. Yeah. Fell onto a nice edge, but it's got nothing to do with you, darling dear. Told you they're having mental health issues and breaks. All whilst your mind is free and clear. You're, you don't even think. No one's checking for them, boo. No one's checking for them. Clarify the sun card in the upright, I might add. Yeah, we've got the page of wands in on its face. Clarify the page of wands, please. Yes, baby, king of Pentacles. This is a message that, you see, when you see the page of wands, it's a message of good news coming in towards you. But in the reverse, this message is already here. This is present energy. You're about to meet someone that's going to promote you, darling dear. It could also be a future husband, somebody who is um, a builder, they they built their own kingdom but you can also speak about your entrepreneurial skills darling dears if you're doing something online it's about to pay off in a big way your hard work darling dear this is about you what moving quickly towards a situation it's coming in quick for you darling dears yeah because you've got the bad art alchemist ways we already discussed it yep and divine is about to be giving you gifts my giving you many gifts because you chose a leap of faith you took a leap of faith and a risk in a new direction. And God blesses those that are diligent, darling dear, and clear thinking. Mm -hmm. Clarify this night of ones, please. Clarify this night of ones, please. Thank you. Oh, wow. Someone seeing that you are what? The queen of wands. This speaks about plan, plotting and strategizing. You dodged a bullet when you refused that cup of opium from whomsoever never truly loved you or supported you. They're feeling like a whole dumbass, darling. They are full on sweetie. If you've been rocking with me, you understand sweetie is code for many, many, many derogatory, derogatory, derogatory terminologies. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Plan, plot it, and strategize, darling. Then you're looking good. Looking good. Using your intuition, your discernment to see things from a different perspective, as well as to realize that you dodged a bullet. You don't want no rusty cup of opium from a knight of one's character. Someone who was always disloyal and never supported you. Face of the deck. And they're an effing skin peeling liar. And if you allow them back into your life, they will lie to you again. Two of cups on its face is someone who is truly, truly, truly disingenuous, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Somebody who uh, creates a lot of disharmony. But you have to remember the separation from that situation. Rejection is God's protection, right? And all they was was ever was passive aggressive. You would have never metamorphosed into the person that you are. They're nothing but a blown out and a run through, darling dears. You you are loyal, king of cups, as well as highly intuitive. This goes to ten of cups, ten of cups again. You found the tenth cup on your own, darling dear. From after leaving a situation where there was no healing. Mm -hmm. Eight of pentacles on its face. A situation that wasn't working for you because it was toxic. This person liked the attention of others. Three of Cups is feminine energy, or it could be male because you know gender is fluid. This is somebody who was a deep dealer, darling dears. Someone who always hid their true intentions. They never saw it for you, darling dears. They never believed that you was the diamond in the rough chariot energy on its face. They didn't think you'd ever progress. Or what? Get out from under, right? But when God blesses you, darling dear... Taught you how to get your block game for the gods, darling. They are standing up tall. What you've been waiting on has been a long time coming. You had to learn, right? Focus. Do the due diligence. Learn to what? Study. Learn new things. If you've got a business online, it's been a long time coming. But it's about to pay off. Remember, everything is in divine timing. Wow. Base of the deck. Your transformation season has arrived, big cat. Your majesty. You are of royal lineage. You are being supported and your words carry spiritual weight. Mm. Let's get the wellness deck. This is the um, Island Time Wellness deck. Messages to the big cats. As they truly understand that they are exactly where they need to be. The work that they've done is about to pay off in a big way. We saw the judgment. Look, lightning strikes, darling dears. And new passion in your life. The lightning of what? Sudden change. Yeah. The passion is what? The chemistry of what's being brought towards you. Like-minded souls. It's a time for you to have fun. Because you what? You focused on your passions. This is why you are being what? Being gifted with this transformation. told you somebody just wants to sleep with you one more time darling dear so they can hook you again into wickedness what's this is that car turned over i thought i saw a car turned over maybe i'm seeing doubles no i saw it yeah you're making healthier choices darling dears listen pay your knees yeah pay your knees pay your knees Mm -hmm. Whilst you're making healthier choices, what did I say? Someone trying to manifest manifest you back. You've got the keys. You're getting the keys to the kingdom, darling dear. A new home, a new career. But it's all about the transformation. And it could also be the new relationship. Listen, twin flame, I call it old blowtorch, darling dears. They even may try and get you on the phone. But they come with an axe to grind, darling dear. This person is not healed. And they've got a lot of negative right attachments continue to sail away sail away oh from this karmic relationship mm -hmm. you're sent to be a lesson in your life darling dear and bad mind is kicking in the like jack like um, what's his name van damme mm -hmm. you know here in another deck calling to me we're going to use the calm club final messages the big cat as they truly realized they never they never loved or supported you darling dears they tried to break what father god made 
And what did they do? Put themselves at hockey sticks at dawn, on the rocks of life, wishing and hoping, right? You have water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio energy. It speaks about cleansing. It speaks about your emotions and new relationships flowing to you, darling dears, right? Healing, healing. The healing that you gathered from yourself and many of you heal from being in bodies of water, right? We've got mag we've got magnetic growth, mm -hmm. the grass of abundance, darling dears. And as some of you need to go and ground in either in nature or get into a body of water, right? Travel and adventure, the horse. Listen, a new status is coming towards you at a, at top speed. You have a wild spirit and strength. Right, a magical growth for manifestation. Manifestation. The mushroom is working for you. On that note, death of the ego, darling dears. This is what has brought you to this point. You are leading with a 5D mind. Look, says it all here. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings. Todd love to my Patreon, or simply come back here, or take the hop, skip, and jump to my TikToks, where I also upload videos. And as I always say, don't get smoked and don't smoke yourself. They never truly loved or supported you. Let them watch you win from the nosebleed section with the plastic seats in the crevice of the devil's balls, these little fingers. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, cat. Don't get smoked or smoke yourself. <laughs>